After months of rumour, leaks and hype, the Samsung Galaxy S3 has finally landed in the Dala phone office. The flagship handset set the mobile world alight following its deal's court debut, thanks to an incredible hardware spec and a seemingly endless list of features. Following our early hands-on with the S3 at Samsung HQ, we have now had some real time to check out what the handset is really all about. If at any point you'd like more information, simply click the dial phone logo to be taken through to our website. With its rounded edges and slim 8.6mm chassis, the S3 makes a positive impression out of the box. It weighs in at just 133 grams and does feel comfortable and grippy in the hand. That said, the plastic shell does not feel as high-end as we would hope for on a premium device. Dominating the S3 is the 4.8-inch Super AMOLED display, and it is quite frankly stunning. Images are consistently sharp, and blacks are as deep as any we have seen on a mobile display. The Gorilla Glass protected screen performed extremely well in most conditions, but did struggle in direct sunlight. In order to power that beautiful display, Samsung has squeezed a mammoth 2100mAh battery into the S3's slim frame. Although that's bigger than the majority of other smartphones out there, we found performance after moderate use to be only slightly above average, with a daily charge still needed. With its 1.4GHz quad-core processor and 1GB of RAM, the Galaxy S3 is well placed to make the most of Android ice cream sandwich. The OS is unsurprisingly swift in operation and thanks to the new TouchWiz UI, it all looks great too. The whole user experience is highly customizable, even more so than on previous Android devices. A good example of this is with the lock screen options, where swipes, gestures and even voice recognition are all available on lock options. Speaking of voice recognition, one of the major features of the S3 is S-Voice. The Siri-like personal assistant has all the usual bells and whistles, but it also boasts increased functionality. In our test though, its performance was hit and miss, at times not understanding our questions or retrieving incorrect information. The camera itself is an impressive 8 megapixel unit and it performed admirably in all of our tests. We were initially disappointed that the rumoured 12 megapixel snapper did not reach production, but our doubts were quashed as soon as we started capturing images. The camera has zero shutter lag and a host of great features, our favourite of which is the lightning fast burst mode. Similarly impressive is the 1080p video capture, which gives smooth and noise free results. As seen previously in the HTC One X, dual capture is also available on the S3, meaning images can be captured at the same time as shooting video. Web browsing capabilities on the new Galaxy are quite possibly the best we have come across in a smartphone. The superb hardware spec of the device means that website navigation is totally lag free, whether connected via Wi-Fi or 3G. The usual NFC, Bluetooth and Android Beam connectivity options are all included on the S3, with the new S-Beam added into the mix which combines NFC and Wi-Fi for a super fast connection. However, the increased functionality that S-Beam brings is only available when connecting to other S3s, limiting its usability. It is in calls and messaging that the intuitive nature of the S3 really comes to the fore. For example, direct call is a great feature which uses motion detection in order to make or receive calls simply by moving the handset to your ear. We found this feature to be both usable and surprisingly convenient. Messaging is also straightforward with menus minimalist in design and execution. That said, a whole raft of options is available when creating a message, including adding attachments. This often overlooked aspect of modern smartphones is refreshingly dealt with here. The S3 also caters well for email use, with various widgets and messaging options ensuring mail can be received and sent with the utmost ease. Multimedia options on the handset are well covered thanks to the gaming, movie and music hubs respectively. As expected, video playback is nothing short of spectacular on the device and offers a genuine alternative to larger screen viewing. Pop-up play is a new feature that allows multitasking while watching a video at the same time, but we found this to be more of a novelty than a useful feature. In general use, the pop-out player is simply too small to be really usable. This leads us into the real Achilles heel of the Galaxy S3. It is a phone that at times is just trying to do too much. Features such as Smart Stay, Smart Alert and Social Taggle sound impressive on paper, but unfortunately in practice they come across as little more than underwhelming novelties. They are not particularly intuitive and seem to be glitzy add-ons with no real-world application. However, in our time with the Galaxy S3, we could not help but be impressed. The tech spec translates into a device which is, in our opinion, more responsive than anything else currently on the market. The screen is simply outstanding and the TouchWiz UI offers great usability for the most part. Despite the gimmicks, the S3 is a stunning flagship handset that has taken the smartphone experience to the next level. A new benchmark has been set and every other manufacturer is now going to be playing catch-up, and you can read the full review on the Dialophone blog.